Hi guys, today you join me in a Golf uh, Mark 7.5, it's the R-Line 150PS Evo engine. Um, I've had the car for two or three days now, I've done 300 miles in it, and this is just really five fun facts of five things I like about the car, five things I don't like about the car. So far, obviously things can change, but I'd say first up is the active info display. Really like that, um, freshens up the interior. You know, it's not not exactly a bland interior, but it's pretty. It's, you know, obviously, quality and nice and looks good, but it does look a bit bland. So the uh, active display really brightens things up in there. You've got all the stuff, multifunction display stuff in there. It's all the same as the uh, traditional sort of Golf uh, or Volkswagen stuff back uh, for the last few years, but uh, really brightens it up. Next up is the R-Line trim. Really like the R-Line trim. Um, looks good. Same as the Golf R seats. And um, all the piano black in there, dashboard's got all loads of piano black on it, uh, looks really smart. Uh, exterior wise, same again, you've got black side skirts, it's got the 18 inch alloys, uh, R badges here, there, everywhere, all looks really cool. So, yeah, R line stuff is the, word for it, is the way forward for me. Next up, TSI Evo engine, this thing is fantastic, it's great in sport mode, got loads of grunt and power, uh, and in eco mode, it just sips at the fuel. And ekes out that. I mean, you can see 49.5 mpg on the display there. And uh, yeah, in eco mode, it's great. Um, love it. Two cylinder mode, drops onto two cylinders, act, uh, active cylinder uh, deactivation on cylinders. Great engine. And now, I love these little LED sweeping lights. Sad, I know, but I love it. Now, I think I don't like the greasy fingers on the uh, sat nav, and the sat nav itself. It's caused me two issues so far. One, it uh, it froze today, so this was uh, leaving site. I'd driven for about 60 miles and the sat nav still thought I was uh, at site, so it's a bit strange, you know, not really sure what's going on with that. Maybe it's a faulty uh, bit of kit, which will be a bit of a, a bit of a shame, but there you go. So sat nav's crap, greasy fingerprints is crap, um, but you know, you gotta live with it, I suppose. It does look good. Uh, piano black does attract dust and does get greasy fingerprints on so now I don't like these trims either why they couldn't just put a proper exhaust in there like the GTI or the GTD just just a proper exhaust the trim just looks to me just looks tacky and it's a similar thing with the headlights it seems that they're just uh, cheaped out there I wish they'd thrown them in for free as well similar to the uh, GTI GTD and R headlights if they'd uh, if they put them in there, it would really finish the car off nicely. But as it is, they're an optional extra, and at the, you know the car is it's thirty thousand pound car as it is, so it's quite an expensive uh, golf. And that leads me on to my final dislike of the car. It's just the price. So we're on the um, Volkswagen configurator here. We're looking at the uh, one point five uh, TSI Evo petrol seven speed DSG. Um, got the upgraded alloys on there. Um, we've got the active display, we've got the LED sweeping tail lights, and there we go, it's nearly £30,000 for a Golf. Now, for me, that is a lot of money. Now, if you, if you disagree, or you do agree, comment below, please, let's get a conversation on it. Is that too much for a Golf? Particularly, it's not even a GTI or an R. This is a 150 horsepower petrol engine Golf. Uh, let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Don't forget to uh, like and